Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. First stop, the Osteon, which should remind you of an osteon, the structural unit of bone. This llama is standing next to the rings of this ancient tree stump because every osteon is made of rings of bony matrix called lamellae. Osteons are also called haversion systems because in the middle of every osteon is a hollow central canal, or haversion canal. Just like how this tree has a hollowed out core, haversion canals contain the blood vessels, lymph vessels, and nerves that supply bone tissue. Transverse canals, called Volkmann's canals, extend from the haversion canals, connecting adjacent osteons. This vulture, with transversely extended wings and perched on a limb near the tree's hollow center, represents a Volkmann's canal. The tiny spaces between the lamellae are called lacunae, which is why we've added a lagoon between the two llamas. And the very mature bony fish living inside that lagoon represents the mature bone cells, or osteocytes, that live within lacunae. The lagoon is fed by small canals because many canals called canuliculi transport nutrients and waste to and from osteocytes in the lacunae. The canuliculi enable this transport by connecting osteocytes to the larger Haversion and Volkmann's canals. Osteocytes themselves extend along the canuliculi and exchange nutrients and waste through gap junctions.